Some breaking news to bring you now, and in the past hour, Liz Truss has confirmed that five British nationals who are being held by pro-Russian forces in eastern Ukraine have been released as part of a prisoner swap deal brokered by the Saudi Crown Prince. Well, we can cross to our chief correspondent, John Craig, who's at the Foreign Office for us. For us. Hello to you, uh, John. What more do you know about how this came about? Well, this announcement came from the uh, Prime Minister a short time ago, and as you said, clearly the Saudis have been instrumental uh, in this move. Uh, making the announcement, uh, Liz Truss said in a tweet, hugely welcome news that five British nationals held by Russian-backed uh, proxies in eastern Ukraine are being safely returned, ending months of uncertainty and suffering for them and their families. Uh, she said, I thank President Yelensky for his efforts efforts to secure the release of detainees and Saudi Arabia for their assistance. And she concluded, Russia must end the ruthless exploitation of prisoners of war and civilian detainees for political ends. Now, in addition to that, James Cleverly, the Foreign Secretary, uh, also welcoming this move, um, she ta he talks about the five British nationals. He says prisoners of war from other countries held by Russian-backed proxies have also been returned. And uh, he said, though, that one, uh, he mentioned one who has not and has uh, uh, died, Paul Yuri, that is. Um, but uh, the campaign to f free these nationals in Parliament here in the UK has been led by Robert Jenrick. Now, he's a former cabinet minister, MP for Newark, just rejoined the government. He has campaigned for one of his constituents, Aidan Aslin. Now, he was one, of, he is one of the five. Um, he said that he's delighted that they've been finally been released. Um, he told the story about uh, Aidan. He's uh, released a statement from Aidan's family. Uh, in 2018, he moved to Ukraine. He met his girlfriend, eventually settled down uh, uh, there. Uh, he decided to join the Ukrainian Marines, served in his unit for nearly four years. He is not contrary to the Kremlin's propaganda, a volunteer, a mercenary or a spy, uh, says the statement Mr. Jenrick has released. When he was raised, Mr. Jenrick was raising this in the Commons in June when there was a, a court hearing, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Jenrick, uh, referring to the sentencing of Mr. Aslin and others to death, said it was a disgusting Soviet-era style show trial and the latest reminder of the depravity of Putin's regime. Well, clearly the South Saudis have been key in what has happened. A lot of diplomatic efforts beyond, behind, behind the scenes. Clearly, the uh, President Yelensky and his government have helped here. And there is immense relief here at the Foreign Office and in the British government. And, of course, the families of those five Britons who have now, we understand, been released.